What is the best way to unblock websites and bypass internet censorship in China? And the ironic thing is, if you're already in China, you will not be able to see this video because I will upload it to YouTube and YouTube is blocked. Uh, same as Facebook, Google and many other websites. And China tries to protect their citizens from the bad influence of the West, I guess, and tries to protect all the copycats in the country. And there are quite a lot of websites blocked on uh, Wikipedia. You can find a list of all the websites. I mean, Google Mail. Many, many people use Google Mail, right? Maps, Docs, um, Google Plus. Well, okay, who uses Google Plus? Uh, Google Sites, Picasa, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Blogspot, Instagram, um, New York Times, Dropbox, and so on. For me, this would be 95% of the internet, basically. But there is a way around it, and I will show you how to do this. But the best thing is to get prepared before you go to China so you have the software installed on your computer and uh, paid for the services and so you don't have a problem because many um, of those providers that offer solutions, the websites themselves get blocked by China so um, it's better to be to prepare before you go. So the solution is a virtual private network. Many companies use this for their home office workers to log in to their company network. But in um, in our case, we just want to log into the internet in many different places. And I will actually keep a list of good providers, VPN providers, down in the description. This is a page of a different video I made about how to watch US Netflix anywhere in the world and um, you see here I, I posted a list and I will try to keep it up to date including the prices and um, yeah some advantages of VPNs you can watch online streaming videos from anywhere in the world many people um, like to watch the US media stuff online privacy even if you're living in Britain or Australia or some other countries uh, which have like, a lot of piracy laws and um, all kind of restrictions, um, you can prevent from getting legal letters from your internet service providers because once you use a VPN to enter the internet, your whole connection is encrypted from front to end, so no one is able to see what you're doing. The internet service provider just see, sees some gibberish and only you can see like what you're doing. And of course you can unblock websites because you can enter the internet anywhere on the planet and most blocking happens based on IP blocking. Um, so that means depending on where you are on the planet you can see or not see certain things. For example now I'm somewhere logged in in Hungary in Budapest and so there are certain things I cannot see right now for example a lot of US media actually in my YouTube channel free info I describe a lot of things you can do with the VPN for seeing all kind of media but as, as I said it also has a lot of safety advantages especially if you're logging into the internet in private places um, using a VPN makes it much much more safe so as I said I am currently somewhere logged into the internet in Hungary and I'm using Ex ExpressVPN right now because I really like their software it's super easy to use see now I go on disconnect for example and let's see what kind of locations they have they have United Kingdom so if you're British and you want to see the BBC iPlayer for example you might want to log in there if you're from the Netherlands and want to watch Dutch television or 
Fran French television and so on and so on then you can log in those places um, in the Americas we have many places um, where we can log in you see in Canada we have four different places in the US there are well, I don't want to count but it's quite a lot so if you have some issues with watching US online stream television or Netflix or whatever you can just choose between the different ones if one is not working the other one is probably working and um, so here we can log into many different places well Kenya Egypt well I wouldn't log into Egypt if you're in China because there's also many things blocked there Asia Pacific um, we can log in Thailand and so on but actually let's take Switzerland Switzerland is a nice neutral country I think many things are allowed there so if you're in China you can just choose wherever you want to log in and depending on which country you're from if you want to see the Google search results from this country and so on then you can do this so let's update this nice website which shows me my IP address just like for showing me some ads so as you can see now I'm logged into the internet from Switzerland um, I'm, I'm not explaining exp what IP address means but it's just um, where you log into the internet basically I mean, you can check it on Wikipedia and maybe one more example I disconnect now select another location let's go to Argentina just to show you how easy you can travel around the world basically with your internet connection without having to move a bit now I up this page and as you can see we are in Buenos Aires logged into the internet right now and um, yeah I'm using ExpressVPN it's very nice the software works quite well um, what did I want to I mean you can check out the the page yourself I as I mentioned I will link to it in the description of the video same way as I did here you just go down on click on show more or if you're on a mobile device there will be a arrow down button on the right below the video and then you can click on it and and see um, what you want to know here I'm just going to the apps to show you they have apps and software for all systems and if you stay long term in China and want to bypass all the um, blocked websites for a long time in China you can get a, the software for your router and then automatically all your devices is it router or router by the way so um, anyway but all your devices will be logged into the internet depending on which place you selected um, in your uh, router router installation and then you don't have to install the software on every single device and yeah they have military grade encryption so well maybe the Chinese military will be able to um, see what you're doing after I don't know a month of computing but I'm not sure if they will um, do this uh, you have unlimited bandwidth you have a 30-day money-back guarantee great customer service this one but as I mentioned I will keep an updated list of my favorite VPNs actually my favorite is ExpressVPN I use it myself I tested a few of the others but for me ExpressVPN is just working the best okay I hope finally you can use Facebook again and Google and kind of jump over the, uh, the Chinese wall 
and unblock all those websites even if you're in China.